Purple was not always a scary monster. This is the sad origin story of Purple in a distant corner of the world, hidden away in an old and dimly lit laboratory, lived a scientist named Dr. Edward Merriweather. Driven by his passion for creating toys that would capture the hearts of children, he spent endless hours experimenting and inventing. However, despite his tireless efforts, none of his creations ever gained the attention he so desperately sought. Each time he presented his inventions to the public, he was met with disappointment as the children turned their attention elsewhere. Dr. Merriweather's spirits were crushed, his dreams fading with every failure. Yet, he refused to give up. He was obsessed with the idea of creating a toy that would not only be admired, but cherished by children around the world. Rumors of a mystical purple lake nestled deep within the heart of the forest, reached the scientists' ears, carrying whispers of its enchanting waters, capable of birthing magical beings, when mixed with the right ingredients. Driven by his curiosity, the scientists embarked on a journey to find the legendary lake. Armed with obsession, he navigated through the dense woods until he stood before the shimmering waters of the fabled lake. Carefully, he collected a sample of the magical water, his heart racing with anticipation of the discoveries he could unlock within his laboratory. Little did he know that the secrets held within the lake's depths were both a source of wonder and a catalyst for unforeseen consequences. In his cluttered and dim workspace, Dr. Merriweather began to experiment with the purple waters. As he mixed and combined various elements, a bubbling reaction occurred. Before his very eyes, a small, Amorphous creature began to form in the center of his workbench. Its body took shape, sporting big cartoony eyes, a circular head, and stretchable arms that extended inquisitively. Dr. Merriweather's heart raced as he watched the creature come to life. He named it Purple due to its vivid hue and soon realized that it was unlike any toy he had ever created. Unlike his previous inventions, Purple seemed to have a soul, displaying emotions and interacting with him. As the days passed, Purple grew larger and more complex, its unique traits becoming more apparent. Purple's shy nature came to the surface. It was as if the creature was a reflection of the scientist's own feelings of isolation. Dr. Merriweather knew he had stumbled upon something extraordinary. He envisioned an amusement park where Purple could be showcased, a place where people would come from far and wide to witness the enigmatic creature's presence. This could be Dr. Merriweather's chance to shine in the limelights. He aptly named the part Oddworld, embracing the strangeness of Purple's appearance and nature. As Oddworld opened its gates, Dr. Merriweather's dream 
finally seemed to be coming true. People marveled at Purple's presence, intrigued by its mysterious allure. The amusement park became a sensation, drawing crowds that cheered for the charmingly shy creature. Dr. Merriweather's fame well, and success. I'm proud that Purple is so popular right now. Grew along with Purple's popularity. Yet, as the years went by, people began to notice changes in Purple. Despite its unique personality, Purple seemed to be growing unhappy. With the constant attention and scrutiny, it was as if the world's fascination with Purple's strange personality was taking a toll on its once shy nature. One bright morning, amidst the lively ambience of art world, a young girl <laughs> named Emily stepped through the entrance gates. Her eyes widened in wonder at, at the kaleidoscope of colors and joyous laughter that surrounded her. Amidst the whirl of attractions, her gaze settled on Purple, the enigmatic creature with big cartoony eyes and stretchable arms, enclosed within an intricate cage. A mix of curiosity and fascination wow. compelled her forward. As she drew near to Purple's cage, people gasped. Emily really wanted to be friends with Purple. Hi there! With a determined heart, she walked up to Purple's cage. And as their eyes met, they exchanged smiles that seemed to say, I understand you. Emily, with her childish innocence, reaches to open the cage's door, smiling she draws closer to Purple. The crowd gasps as Purple approaches Emily. Emily's parents, driven by fear of Purple, hurried over and snatched Emily out of the cage. Tears welled up in Emily's eyes as she looked back at Purple, devastated that the chance for friendship was suddenly taken away. As panic rippled through the crowd, the scientist acted quickly, slamming the cage's door shut and desperately trying to calm the frightened onlookers, assuring them that Purple posed no danger. However, the atmosphere grew tense and chaotic, leading the crowd to hastily flee the once thriving amusement park. Consumed by a mixture of frustration and desperation, the scientist's anger towards Purple's disobedience reached a boiling point, worried that Purple might somehow escape his control. He made a decision that would further confine the enigmatic being. He transferred Purple into a smaller cage, hoping that the limited space would prevent any chance of escape. Driven by his need for control, he made a rash decision to inject Purple with a mysterious substance that was supposed to increase obedience. Yet, as the sound coursed through Purple's veins, an eerie and unexpected transformation began to unfold. The creature's appearance shifted, its once familiar features contorting into a horrifying shape that sent chills down the scientist's spine. The scientist's misguided attempts at manipulation had unleashed a nightmarish force beyond his comprehension. Purple, the once lovable creature, became a scary monster. 